Hi guys! This is Margil and I will be discussing to you in general physiology about the anatomical directional terms. So, let's start! So, what do we mean by anatomical directional terms? Anatomical directional terms describes the position of structures relative to the other structures or locations in the body. So, our first term is superior and inferior. When do we say superior? It is the term used when it is toward the head of our body. For example, the head is superior to the hips, meaning the head is the structure that is above to the another structure, which is the hips. Another term is the inferior. Inferior is the opposite of superior, which means it is away from the head. Example, the hips is inferior to the head, which means the hips that is a structure that is below to the another structure, which is the head. Another set of terms are the medial and lateral. When do we say medial? It is toward the middle of the body. For example, the chest is medial to the arm, meaning the chest is in the inner portion of our body. Another term is the lateral. Lateral is away from the midline of the body. For example, the ears are lateral to the nose, meaning the ears are on the outer portion of our body. Another set of terms are anterior and posterior. Anterior is the term used when it is towards the front or in front of another structure, while the posterior it is towards the back or in the back of another structure. For example, the kneecap is located on the anterior side of the leg. The shoulder blades are located on the posterior side of the body. The last terms are proximal and distal. Proximal is towards or nearest the trunk of our body, while the distal is away or farthest from the trunk. For example, the knee joint is proximal to the ankle joint. The hand is distal to the shoulder.